Hello and welcome! This time I'm showing you Elcomsoft Phone Breaker which works on uh, Apple iOS, Windows Phone and Blackberry. I only have um, Apple, the iPhone, so I'm gonna demonstrate that. And first thing we're gonna do is um, use a local backup which I pulled from the laptop. I backed up the iPhone in there so I have the backup in here and the backup location, I have uh, put it in the notepad is exactly this in here and then in there you have a folder with some weird uh, names that's an encrypted backup so it's password protected obviously this is your username and app data is usually a hidden folder so you have to enable the hidden folders or go into the url bar on your explorer and just type it in but anyway so i have the backup in here so we're gonna decrypt the backup first or sorry, we're gonna explore the keychain, that's the first thing we need, because the password is not known, so we're gonna click in here. You can drag and drop, or you can choose the backup. If the backup's made on the computer where you run this tool, then you can just click on here, and you will automatically have the right folder, but I have not installed iTunes on my primary computer, so I don't have it in here. Uh, you can browse from here into the right location, but it's easier to just open this, whoops, open this. You have a lot of files in here, all you need is um, is this file in here, manifest plist. We're gonna drag and drop it in here and as you can see it pulled all my phone information already. I'm gonna cover some of that but that's okay. Uh, password, we don't know the password so we're gonna try to recover it. So we don't need this anymore. So let's try to recover this. You have some basic options in here, but you can customize all that, so we don't want brute force right now, because I know what the password is, I'll just show you the process. We'll take the mutation off, it's also GPU accelerated, so a good GPU helps. And we can just start recover, it should just take a second, maybe a few seconds, but... Uh, there we go. It's simple password, I put it for the demonstration purposes. As I have a GTX 680 Hall of Fame Edition, it's really fast in password recovery, so obviously it took just a second. On a laptop it took actually two minutes to do that, so anyway. So we can check uh, the decrypt or we can uh, show it, I'm not even sure what this is, but... Um, oh yeah, it shows you which, uh, which stations I've used, so I probably don't want to show you all that, but as you can see, it shows the wireless uh, network passwords, it shows all that kind of stuff, but I'm not showing you that, I am censoring that, so... Uh, wait, where, wh where were we? Alright, I got it back in here, so uh, from here we're gonna decrypt the backup. And save decrypted to, let's say, I'm gonna make a new folder in here, let's say... Um, decrypted backup. And this is where we're gonna put this, so let's browse. Know where it's going, desktop, decrypted backup, select folder, there we go. The password is obviously aliens, as I showed you. Store original file names, yes, let's do that, and let's hit decrypt, so. Well, it's going fairly fast. I'm not sure if this process is GPU accelerated, it probably is. And we have it decrypted, so. Let's go into the decrypted and see what's in here. As you can see, it's all my files. I'm gonna just make this window a little bit smaller. I have 4K desktop resolution, so that's just um, one fourth of my desktop. That's why the windows are so big. But let's see, what do we have? I don't even know what to look for. I don't know where the images are, but I'm sure they're somewhere in here. So I took a quick look into this and I just searched for the um, .jpg because I have no idea about the uh, file paths and stuff. And I found some images that I actually deleted, so it actually recovers the deleted images. I didn't know that. And at this point I have to mention that it also recovers deleted SMS messages. I don't have any SMS messages, so I can't really demonstrate that. But these images I deleted from my iPhone, they don't even exist. I made the backup and it still somehow has them, so I have no idea what's going on. But that's, that's what Apple does, they always store things. That's my new chair, by the way. Apple always stores things and then it just um, just puts them somewhere. So, 
but that's how you find them. This is your encrypted backup, so you can decrypt the backup and you have decrypted files, everything. And now the next step is that we can download the backup from iCloud without having iTunes or iPhone or anything at all. All we do is just click in here. All you need to know is your Apple ID and password. And also if you've forgotten your Apple ID and password, then this can be recovered from the decrypted uh, backup. So we're gonna go back in here, explore keychain. I already showed you that, but choose backup. I already have it in the list, that's why it's in here. So we choose this. The password we already know for this because we cracked this, so... And we click explore. And now all we do is export this. We can export this uh, onto desktop. And now we can just open this file. And I have the file open in the notepad. And as you can see, this is my Apple ID password. Well, obviously that's not because I changed it, but that's where it shows. I also changed the account to XXX. But... Uh, this is where it is. This is your orig original account. I'm not sure if you can see the email actually. I'm gonna search for it. So just uh, give me a second. Yeah, nope. This file doesn't uh, contain the email. So you can't get this. But you can get the password. So you have to remember the email for yourself. But other than that, we can go back to the... Why is it going in here? Oh yes, all tools. We are gonna go back to all tools. So download backup, we know the password now, the only thing is Apple ID, which is the email, that's what you need to know, because this is not shown in the files, so we're gonna fill this out, put the password in, and then sign in. And there we go. Once we're logged in, you can see the backup that is backed up in the iCloud. We no longer need these, I'm just gonna delete these. And you can download the backup, which is just one phone, but you can select if you have uh, several devices, you can, well, download uh, many of them, so... And download two, we're gonna choose a folder. I just made a folder in here, iCloud backups, so we're gonna put it in here, choose this folder, and it's it's downloading. And here we have the download completed, so we can do stuff with it now. And we have the download in here now, which is the almost the same kind of backup, it just looks a little bit different. I think these are the dates when it was made, so let's uh, let's just check it out if it is. Let's see the size. Uh, no, it's not actually, I don't think it is. Oh yes, it is. Because my original backup was about 300 megabytes, so yeah, these, these are like backup 1, backup uh, 3, backup 4, I don't know why there is no number 2. But these are just backup numbers, as you can see. And this is the same kind of thing, you have the p-list in here, the manifest p-list which you can open and then you can decrypt, so the process is same. And again if we go back in here for a second, and then we sign in. And from here you can also restore original file names and download only specific data, which we can customize from here. For example, you can choose anything you like in here. Messages, call history, anything like this, and then you can click done. Let's say we want um, we want just messages and maybe um, maybe Google data, and then we click done, and then you do the same. Then you just download it and you have just a partial uh, backup. And then there are a few more things to show. For example, settings, which I didn't even go through. You can, for example, uh, change how many CPUs you use for the cracking of the password and how many GPUs you use. So you can select them from here. You can also use a proxy server if necessary. You have iCloud settings, which is where it downloads by default, so you can put the default names and stuff. And you can also pack them into a single uh, archive. And this is like uh, the password options, I believe, which you can like save the default options or anything, but uh, it's nothing important really. And then the final thing is how to download um, the other data from the iCloud. And again, you have to enter your username and password and sign in and these are some uh, non backup files which are not included in the backup so you can download all of this there's not much in here but it includes like uh, iwork data system files stuff like this so not even sure if you can delete it it says to not delete but um, i don't think you can delete it but let's try to download and let's see what happens so do not show empty folders let's download we're gonna make a new folder in here, we call it, uh, whoops, not the shortcut, we're gonna call it um, iCloud files, it's in here, select the folder, and it's downloading, it should just take a few seconds, 
or not okay there we go just free files I'm not even sure what it downloaded exactly uh, documents uh, well I don't have much on the iPhone it's just a test phone really but as you can see it has some really weird files that you don't really get from backup so what is this baseline file names model I'm not sure what that is I'm gonna I'm gonna just check it out I'm just curious what it is and yeah, that includes some uh, encrypted data I believe looks like it at least but um, but that should be it about uh, phone breaker I might have left a few things out might not but check in the description I will put everything in the description all the info where to buy it where to get it all the training files everything there is so if something's missing it will be in the description check in there and I will see you.